This is North Dakota Today. Good morning, good morning. Hi, everyone. Welcome on into North Dakota Today. Thank you so much for joining us here. My name is Ashlyn Hill. And I'm Sophia Richards. Well, let's just you break the bad news. I'm not a billionaire. Again? I, again. <laughs> again. You know, the more this climbs, the more I just have to come on air and yeah. tell everybody how much of a loser I am. But it's not just me. Nobody won it. So collectively, we, yeah. all, we all lost out on that one. Yeah. So the Mega Millions jackpot, though, still growing. It is now $1.25 billion. So, um, you know, I was sad about it. You know, you'd love to just wake up a millionaire. But this is what I found to make me happy today, which is also another funny story that we're going to share right mm -hmm. after. Krispy Kreme came out as the chain, the donut chain, saying that every lottery player can win some dough through today. So this is because nobody was winning the actual Mega Millions lottery. You can take in your Mega Millions tickets to a Krispy Kreme, and they will give you a glazed donut for free. Uh, they're just really trying to bring everybody together. So I got excited and I was telling everybody that I wanted to talk about this today <laughs> and uh, then the news was broken to me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that the singular Krispy Kreme in this region closed. It's no longer in business. Mm -hmm. So I thought that can't be. That's not real life. So I go online and I'm like, Krispy Kreme's near me. Uh, the closest was Omaha. <laughs> yeah, not even remotely in the same vicinity. So if you're heading out to Nebraska <laughs> or Iowa, make sure you take your losing Mega Millions ticket with you and you will be getting a free donut today uh, through the end of the their business hours today. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I was so excited to talk about this and sure enough, there's not one around us, but I guess it's the thought that counts. Mm -hmm. But then we just pivoted and talked about a different dessert. Yes, because once I start thinking about sweets and yep. candy yep. and donuts, mm -hmm. ice cream, it mm -hmm. all just, my mind just races. Same. My <laughs> mind never works so hard as when I'm thinking about all the all the sweet things that I could eat. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, especially when it has to do with McDonald's, which yes. this one does. So it's a viral TikTok trend, and it has people wanting to create their own McDonald's cone smash, is yes. what it's being termed. So here's a little screen grab from the TikTok video. So essentially, all of these ladies pile into their car. They go through the drive-thru at McDonald's. They ordered six vanilla cones. You can see that there. And I'm thinking, uh oh, what are we doing with these cones? They smushed them into like a Tupperware container. Mm -hmm. That was like phase one. And I was like, what are we doing? Yeah. I do want to interject and say the funny comments online said, wait, that McDonald's ice cream machine worked? <laughs> but I'll have you know, the University of McDonald's here up the road, they always have ice cream when I need a milkshake at 11 a.m. So mm -hmm. I just want to let everybody know it's going really well. Yeah. Okay, but so phase one, you get those six vanilla cones, you get a container. They're doing this in their vehicle too. I think that's why it was so funny. Yes. Because of how messy it is with all the crumbs and everything flying everywhere. So they're jamming the cones into the container and you're like, okay, what's next? Well, they then start smashing up the cone itself and kind of mix it in. Then they order some chocolate chip cookies. Don't forget, McDonald's also sells those the hot pies and the hot cookies. Mm -hmm. So they order, I don't know, six, three, but it's to your heart's desire. So they order all the cookies, they start breaking those up and start smashing them in with their spoons, and it doesn't end there. <laughs> then they get hot fudge. It doesn't end. They, oh yeah, they order hot <laughs> fudge itself, like in its own little container. So they start putting that on top, and then these gals brought their own sprinkles. And this was the most dedicated thing I've ever seen to creating your own dessert yep. while in the drive through line yeah. <laughs> of a McDonald's. <laughs> and then the cherry on top was they ordered french fries. And before like dipping in with their yeah. spoons and forks, they started Dips dipping the their fries. fries. Yes. So I, mean, I don't know, would you try it? Is this for you? I mean, everything I've described sounds like it's for us. It just sounds like a lot of work to me. <laughs> Like the video is funny too. It is funny. I don't know if everyone has seen this on my timeline. I think I saw it last night. Yeah. And at first I was like, what's going on? Yeah, it is a little confusing. You're like, why are there six giant vanilla cones? And yeah. Why are we just putting them upside down in a container? At first I thought maybe they were taking it to freeze for later. Mm -hmm. And then they just start going to town. Yeah, just start smashing, smashing it everything. With yeah, a little yeah, yeah. plastic spoon aggressively. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like for me, I'm either going to eat you know, my plain vanilla McDonald's uh -huh. cone, uh -huh. or I'm gonna like make an ice cream sundae at home, like not in my car, yeah. you know, with my own ingredients from the grocery store. Right. Or if I want something like mixed up, I would just go get a blizzard. I know. I feel like I wouldn't go <laughs> to these lengths. <laughs> I think it's cute. I mean, these ladies, yeah. you know, doing this, but I just, me personally, it's just. Well, it inspired other people. So the video yeah. starts to go viral as mm -hmm. it does on TikTok, and then it gets shared everywhere else on social media and stuff like that. And then there were moms, specifically with younger kids, 
who were like, okay, this seems pretty fun. I think yeah. my kiddos would really enjoy doing something like this. So then they brought their containers and did the whole thing. And yeah, it's messy, but yeah, in the name of cute. memories and just kind of having fun and doing it, I think in that situation, yeah, absolutely. Especially mm -hmm. before summer runs out, why not? Just go ahead and get to McDonald's and make that viral cone smash. Any excuse to go to McDonald's. Yeah. Any excuse for any ice cream. Truly. Yeah, Dairy yeah. Queen. Dairy Queen. Miracle McDonald's. Treat Day just happened yes. to fall on the day that we wanted blizzards anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every day it. we want blizzards. Right. Don't but. you love it when life works out like that? It's just such a beautiful thing when it's mm -hmm. all connected that way, huh? Yeah, I mean, I would try it just to circle back. Mm -hmm. um, and I did actually forget that they do the cookies there. So that's why I was like, reminder, everybody. That was a reminder to me. Yeah. I forgot they do hot chocolate chip cookies. I know. I'm not really, I don't really get other desserts there besides mm. the Oreo McFlurry. Oh, yeah. Or just a plain cone. I like I don't get crazy Sundays. with them. But did you know they don't do peanuts anymore? No. See? I didn't know that they ever did peanuts. Yeah. I was a hot fudge Sunday connoisseur yeah. at McDonald's. And let me tell you, <laughs> those peanuts were not the cherry on top because I don't like cherries, but they were incredible. And yeah. that was like one of my go-to because I love a good crunch. Mm -hmm. uh, but they don't do that anymore, so heads up in case you're going that route. But we love a good McFlurry. We do. We really do love a good McFlurry. I think that the, the big kicker was the fact that they all ordered french fries too to yeah, dip into to dip. their creation, yeah. which is so normal. We all do that, right? Mm -hmm. We all get or fries. Or like with a, like a chocolate milkshake. Yeah. So good. Yeah, agreed. Oh, see, I'm we can talk about Ashlyn. it forever. I know. This, oh. is, this is what happens every time we talk about McDonald's. Yep. Somebody's going to write us a message and say, you guys talked about it so much, I had to go <laughs> into McDonald's today. It's what always happens. Yes. So, you know, love it or hate it, it is what it is. We do have more happening, though, on our show today. So don't you worry. Coming up right here after the break, we're talking about the importance of back-to-school eye exams. We'll uh, look into that right here after the break.